Uh, Curtis, you want to give us like a brief little recap of the events of the episode before we jump in? Yeah, man, I got everything up here on the, the Vulture's monitor for a little uh, quick nice. recap. Mando, Season 3, Episode 2, The Minds of Mandalore. Ooh. Okay, we start off Ooh. at where everything began, Tatooine. We join up with our favorite Ellen Ripley-inspired mechanic. Looks like she's kind of dealing with one of Greedo's cousins. Mando turns up there also. for a droid yep. part, his old buddy IG unit. Then she pawns off the old R5 unit on him. And it is confirmed that this R5 yep. unit is indeed R5-D4, the one that Luke Skywalker called Red in A New Hope. It's got a bad oh, motivator. Yeah. It's just got a it's fucked got a up motivator. motivator. In true fashion, it turns out that R5-D4 is a bit of a fuck-up, and... <laughs> also, also true. <laughs> yeah, thank the maker that the Skywalkers didn't buy this little dickweed. So yeah, no shit. The galaxy would have been doomed. So Mando, Baby Yoda, and R5 are off to Mandalore, and they are looking for these, like, dumbass Russian-style bass. And once on Mandalore, R5, they send R5 to take an air sample. Good, like, whatever. Oh, yeah, he gets lost in Mandalorian, and Mando has to go into this toxic wasteland yeah. on his own. So Mando has to go and search for R5, and he rolls into this cave, and he encounters these weird, overage mutant fighting weirdos. So he finally whips out the dark saber and beats their ass. He finds R5, and it turns out that Mandalore wasn't toxic all along. Go figure. When searching, Mando finds an old Mandalorian helmet, and it, it uh, turns out it was a booby trap, and he gets tracked by this weird cybernetic creature, and it looks like this like cybernetic creature has looked a little bit like he's seen The Matrix one too many times. This cybernetic creature takes it to his weird-ass cave and starts to perform weird acts on him. So Grogu rows back to find Bo-Katan for help, and on his way out of the cave, he uses the force on one of these fuckers. Turns out Baby Yoda uh, knows a few things. And uh, Bogotan looks all depressed when they get back to the castle, but she's still kind of cute. Uh, I don't know, we may have a thing for, for redheads. She races back to Mandalore in her kick-ass ship. Bogotan comes uh, across these more of these weirdos. Oh wait, then she finds the cybernetic creature who's still fucking with Mando. After a little bit of back and forth of a fight, and then finally gets her hands on the dark saber. After a little bit of back and forth, and eventually kicks his ass so hard she kills this cybernetic creature. And then you know Mando still hell bent after all this bullshit to go to these damn baths. So he finally goes into the baths. He sinks to the bottom. Bo-Katan jumps and saves his ass once again. And then when they're on their way out. They encounter a mythosaur, which I guess is some kind of Mandalorian mascot. Oh, yeah. You know, fade to back and yeah. scene. Shit, I need to tighten yeah. that up a little bit, but this is our first time. Dude, hey. That's all right. We'll, we'll tighten it up next time. Yeah, I think yeah, I need to do about half of that. You the great mythosaur. Yeah. 